Recently, Google released Android 7 and 7.1 Nougat along with its Pixel and Pixel XL lineup. Though none of the manufacturers have yet provided the latest update for their devices and many are not even willing to provide the update, but all the geeks out there just want the latest update on their device. So if you also want the Android 7 and 7.1 Nougat on your device, then you're in the right place. Hi friends, I'm Vandit from Android Planet and today I'll be telling you how you can get the latest features and the complete Android 7 or 7.1 UI on your device. Before starting this procedure, I would like to tell you that though you'll not get the latest Android 7 or 7.1 Nougat on your device, but you'll still get most of its features on your device. So without much ado, let's get started. There are two prerequisites to this guide. Firstly, your phone should be rooted and secondly, it should have the exposed installer installed. I would like to tell you that after following this guide, though you'll not get the latest Android 7.0 Nougat, but you'll still get all the features and the complete Android 7.0 UI. So, without much ado, let's get started. The first step of this procedure is installing all the APKs for which I'll provide direct links in the description. You also have to download the zip file and I'll provide direct link in the description for that as well. So, let's begin to complete the first step. Just open up your file manager or your download manager. Then, search for the downloaded files. I've already put them in a single folder called Android N. Now you have to install all the APKs. I'll do that. Now, as you have already noticed, I have three pending notifications in my notification center. So the next step is activating all the APKs and rebooting your phone. So I'll just reboot my phone and I'll be back soon. Hi friends, I'm back after rebooting my device and many of the changes have already taken place. So let's move ahead. Now the next step is pressing the home button of your phone. Then a pop-up will appear asking which launcher you want to use. Now you have to select Nexus launcher. This will take you to the Nexus launcher. Now the next step is again pressing the home button. A similar pop-up will appear with the only difference being that earlier you were not having the option to set Nexus Launcher as your default launcher but this time you have the option to press always. Now Nexus Launcher has been set as a default launcher. Now let's open up the apps which we have just installed. We'll start with Android Anyfy. With this app you'll get many of the Android N features straight away and even the Android N UI. As you guys have already noticed, I have the Android 7 notification panel. Even the tiles are Android 7.1 style. So I'll just go through the app once. Now if you open up the settings option, you have three options. First, setting summaries. Second, fix sound and notification tile. And third, Android N logo and Easter egg. Let's begin with the first one. Setting summaries, if you enable this option, then you'll get a little bit of information about each topic in your settings app. I'll just show you how it works. So open up your setting apps. As you can see, beneath the Wi-Fi option, I have the name of my Wi-Fi. Bluetooth disabled. Even in the about phone section, I have Android 6.0.1. That means I have a little bit of information about each topic. Moving to the next thing, fix sound and notification tile. This is basically important for custom ROMs like CM13, but you need not worry about enabling this option. You can just do away with it. Now the third option, Android N logo in Easter egg. This will just give you the Android 7.1 logo Easter egg logo, not the actual Easter egg, but the only logo. And it's up to you whether you want to enable it or not. Now let's go to recent option. Here you can choose the double tap speed, recent button click behavior, Obviously, we need it to set to the 7.1 Nougat style, so we'll just leave it to default. Now, I'll just show you the 7.1 feature. If I double press on my back button, then I'm headed to the back or the last app. Sorry friends, I just had to enable the on-screen navigation buttons for the Android 7.1 features to work. So now I'll show you how the re double tap on recent button works. I just double tap on recent button and I'm headed to the last app, which is yeah, it's the screencast screen recorder. Now I'll just long press on this button. And again, that app is open. So double tap and long press on recent button works. Now let's move on the Doze app. 
if you are not familiar with the dose feature on android 7.1 nougat then you need not know about it because it's just a battery saving option so though using this app will not provide you native options in the settings like you will get on android 7 nougat but you still will get all the functionality of dose feature so to get into dose mode just press this button and click ok now if you want to quit the dose mode just click on quit dose and click yes quit and that's it now moving ahead now we'll open the next app I think we should go with X multitasking window now what this app does is it provides you the split screen feature on any Android phone because if we have Android 7.1 features then we should be able to multitask like Android 7.1 as well so let's open it up and I'll show you how you can set that app just open up the app now in this app you can set up your multi window preferences to do so click on the second option that sidebar settings now you see two options sidebar width and sidebar app settings click on sidebar app settings in this menu you can select which all apps you want in the multi window list I have already added a few now you can change the width of the sidebar width list but I prefer keeping it at 150% now I'll go to my home page and show you how this works you just have to swipe from the left side of your screen and a list will appear now as you can see I have the list of all the apps that I can run in the multi window you can add many other apps according to your choice now though I'll not be able to show you how you can get into multi window I'll just go through the steps now click on the app you want in multi window you have two options add to up workspace and add to down workspace obviously up workspace means the upper half of the screen and down workspace means the lower half of the screen so just click on the app you want in the upper half and then select the second app and that's it now we have almost all of the most loved android 7 features but don't you think something's missing yes we still don't have the android 7.1 emojis those which google brought along with android 7.1 update only for the Pixel and Pixel XL devices. But when we are on Android, there are no limits to what we can do. So to get the latest emojis, you have to flash zip file, for which I'll provide direct links in the description. But first, let me show you the zip file. So I'll open up my file manager and show you which file you have to flash. It's called Android and Emojis Gadgets Hack.zip. For those of you who are not familiar with flashing.zips, then I'll tell you it's very easy. You just have to open your custom recovery then select the option install zip from SD card or install zip then locate your file flash the file and reboot your phone and that's it so I'll just flash the file so and reboot I've just rebooted my phone and now I'll show you the latest emojis in whatsapp I'll open up a chat and then open the keyboard as you can see I have the latest google emojis that were brought up along with android 7 so that's it for this video please take some time to press the subscribe and the thumbs up button do leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any video requests, then don't hesitate to ask us. Bye bye now. You guys have a great day.